So guys, you might be thinking about going to an invert show or you might be a season pro. I'm just gonna run through a few things of what to expect from these awesome shows. Now there are few organizers. What I'm gonna do is gonna pop all the links down below to all the websites like the BTS, the invert shows, any other ones, the IHS shows. I'm gonna pop all the links down there so that you can um, peruse at your leisure and find out all the dates and any shows that might be near you. So first question, why go to a show? Well, uh, especially with the invert shows and stuff, if it's local to you, you're gonna save a ton on postage. You know, you usually buy, say one, you, you're not gonna have all your postage costs. Secondly, um, you usually get show prices, uh, you usually get a little bit better deal, so that's another good reason. Plus, you're meeting up with lots of people and friends that maybe you've been speaking to for years on Facebook, Instagram, or whoever, and it's a good, a good opportunity for loads and loads of spider weirdos to get together and see each other. Now, I, um, I've been going to a lot of these shows over the last few years. They are absolutely awesome, awesome fun, and it's always good to meet up with everybody meet up with all the vendors, etc, etc. Now, first, arrival. And we're going to try and do this all in one cut, so please, if I lose my train, just I'm going to just keep going. <laughs> no edit in here. Right, arrival. Um, there will be queues. Whatever show you're going to, there will be queues. So please do arrive early. Um, pretty much, I mean, I usually work on a spider shop stand and we've, we've seen people queuing uh, um, two hours before some of these shows, uh, the queues can get really, really, really long. So please bear that in mind when you're planning your journey. If you're going to say somewhere where this is two and a half hours away, um, please do check um, in the morning for traffic or the night before train delays and all that sort of stuff. Um, it will hinder your your day if you arrive late um, and have to queue for ages and ages to get in. Right, you have arrived at <laughs> your destination. Um, you usually can buy tickets on, on the doors at all these shows, so don't worry about booking online tickets because you can buy online at the doors. So please do arrive early. Loads and loads of change um, is the next thing. Um, the vendors are very limited to change. They do take uh, credit cards, most of them, but the smaller, um, say, bedroom breeders, um, people getting rid of their stock or the smaller stands, um, they won't have credit cards machines. So please do take some uh, notage. And if you've got like a pot of pound coins or whatever, take that as well, because especially for us guys who do work the stands, always run out of change. So people coming up with change is absolutely awesome. Secondly, um, this tip now that I'm gonna bung in. So next top tip. Now when you go and buy your slings off one of the vendors, they're gonna come in pots like this, not when they deliver, usually through your post. So what's gonna happen is when you put your sling in your bag, it's gonna, oh dear, it's all gone. The thing is there's not a spider in here, but I'm just showing. So what I do, I take a plastic tub with me no, just on the off chance that you might buy a sling. Pop it in there with just enough tissue paper in there. Close it up. Probably a bit more tissue paper than that in there, but pack it all out. And then more slings you buy, take a bit of tissue paper out. Job done. Also, if you're going to take your bag, I've just rubbed my sister's shopping, one of her shopping bags here. Try and look for one if you've got one with a flat base or bottom rather than a normal carrier bag. That way you can stack all your goodies nice and easy and carry them around and they're not going to rattle. As I say, all these spider shop and everyone will give you bags, but if you get, as I've known from selling them from the spider shop, you have to give a bag out to everybody and one little tiny sling in a pot in a big huge spider shop bag is going to rattle around everywhere so top tip yes. done that uh right 
yes, you're gonna get bagged from every single one of the big vendors. So, but as you saw in that clip, one big bag, and the bag's probably about this big, tiny little sling cot is gonna jiggle around everywhere. So it's a good way of uh, keeping your slings all um, nice and safe. As, as I say, they don't pack them like you, they do when they send you like in the post. So um, everything's gonna be with um, substrate in it, a little sling. So please bear that in mind when you're um, choosing your bags that you're gonna carry everything around in. Next, um, if you're arriving at the show, yeah, and you come in, um, you are going to see absolutely hundreds and hundreds of the brachypelmas, the box standards, on pretty much all the stalls. But if you see that one spider that you've been looking for for ages and you think to yourself, oh, I haven't seen one of them in ages, I'll just go and have a look, see if anyone else has got it. Don't. Yeah, my experience is... Buy it if you see it. If the price is right, buy it. Um, pretty much, um, I'm going to use avicularia as, uh, as an example. You never ever see many adults, um, juveniles at any of these shows. So if you see one, um, say an avic, and you're really after one, buy it because the other stands are pretty much not going to have them. Um, your white knees, your veggies, curly hairs and all that sort of stuff, they're going to be available everywhere so you can shop around on prices for those. Um, but anything sort of rare that catches your eye and you go, oh, I've not seen that, get it. Um, chances are it will not be sell anywhere else around um, the show. Next off, um, check out the smaller stands. Um, you can pick up the bigger deals that they just you know investigate every single stand obviously you've got a big vendor so you can check out their website beforehand before you go to the show check out what sort of stock you're going for so you can know right i need to head to say spider shop then so many legs get that that what you was actually after but check out these small little independent stands as well they're going to be offering really really good good deals as well um deals on, on a stake of deals as well um if you're staying until the end um you're going to get more deals and offers from the smaller little stands for people trying to get rid of uh, i've seen people coming out at the hobby so they've got a stand just to sell off their spiders um they're more likely to do your deals near the end of the day because they don't want to take the spiders home with them so getting money out of them it's always good to ask all of these um, retailers. You're not going to get very many of the big vendors say, oh, yeah, I'll do you a deal on that. Um, <laughs> that's not really going to happen. But the smaller vendor vendors, yes, definitely. So apart from that, all that, guys, um, it, it's just about having fun and meeting loads and loads of people. Um, if you've got a limit on your spend, um, say cash. That's <laughs> the easiest way to do it. Leave the card at home. Otherwise, you can get a walk carried away card in it or spiders 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 because you will see some absolutely awesome spiders everywhere um also your all your substrates enclosures absolutely everything you could possibly need plants everything will be available at all these shows um they are absolutely awesome i, I love them it's just a, a wicked wicked time um also if you're meeting up with people that you've probably talked to on the internet and it's uh, maybe Steve and he's got a picture of a spider as his profile picture and you, if you know someone who doesn't use a picture of a spider as their profile picture, please go up and go, hi, it's Steve, the one who uses a spider as his profile picture. Um, because I get caught out all the time. People come up, hey, hi, Steve, and you then you realise after about five minutes that you've actually been speaking to this person for the last six months and you feel very, very rude. So, <laughs> but a lot of people use spider pictures as their profile, so that's one handy tip. Just if you see someone, you know, go, hi, it's X, Y, Z. Um, and then, yeah, that's a lot easier, especially for people like me who um, only go off names and not faces as well. So if you see me at the show and you say, hi, Steve, and I look kind of blankly at you, just say, Steve, it's doo -doo. and I go, hey, yes, yes, geezer, nice one. <laughs> Apart from that, guys, um, please do enjoy all of these shows. 
as I said below, I'm going to put the links down to all the invert shows, the BTS, the IHS, um, the, there's the Seas, the South East uh, Arachnid show, I think it's called, or something else. I'm going to try and find all the links so you can sort of just come back to this video and use the links as, uh, use the description links below just as a resource bit instead of Googling if you wish. And by, well, while you're there, send, put a little thumbs up and say thanks Steve for that <laughs> in the comments. Apart from that, guys, please, if you're going to one soon, I'm at London this weekend. If you are there, please pop over and say hi. Um, I'm at in loads and loads this, this year. So apart from that, guys, have fun. Buy loads of nice spiders. I shall see you later.